Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me for today's podcast or video devotion. That is part of our Bible reading plan here at First Baptist. Today, we are in Romans chapter 2. Just as a reminder, our new reading plan is available on our website, also in the back of the Worship Center on Sundays here at First Baptist. And we are beginning in January with the book of Romans. And then when we finish Romans, we'll read some selected chapters from Leviticus and Numbers. And uh, then we'll jump over to the New Testament book of Hebrews and on and on we go. So make sure you download your copy of the reading plan. Uh, today we are in Romans chapter 2, and the verses I want to focus on that spoke to me when I read it are verses 7 and 8. Uh, he's talking in the verse just before this about the revelation of Christ, His second coming, and the judgment day when God's going to judge everyone. And speaking of that, he says in verses 7 and 8, uh, to those who by perseverance in doing good seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life, that the when God judges those of us who persevere in the faith, et cetera, the outcome, the reward will be eternal life. Verse 8, but those who are selfishly ambitious and do not obey the truth but obey unrighteousness, well, what's awaiting them is wrath and indignation. And while he's talking about uh, the judgment, what spoke to me and what I focused on was uh, my own self and how I live because the indication here in verse 7 is that those who have experienced the grace of Christ, we persevere in doing good and we seek for glory, honor, and immortality. And we know that eternal life is our reward. And those who are lost and not following Jesus and not who have not experienced his grace, uh, they are selfishly ambitious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness. And as I reflected on my own life, um, I was just reminded that I need, even as a follower of Christ, as someone who's been changed by the grace of God, um, to guard against my flesh, the selfish ambitions, because it's as though there's this battle and, and my flesh and its selfish ambitions, its sinful desires will try to uh, staunt what God's grace is trying to produce in my life. So I need to guard against all of that. Um, and, and the flesh does not want us, as he says in verse 8, to obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness. So I have to, as a, even as a, as a grace-filled uh, follower of Christ, I have to guard against that and that Grace motivates me, moves me to just hang in there in verse verse 7, to persevere in doing good. And, and when you hear the word persevere, it can have this negative connotation. You know, you're just going to make yourself stick with it. But what I've learned is once you experience the love of God, the grace of God, you just want to stick with it. Even when it's hard, you persevere. And, and so I want to stick with doing God's will and loving Him and bringing honor to Him. And I want to guard against my flesh that would try to get me off track and lead me a, away from obedience to the truth of God. And, you know, and things that make me selfish rather than selfless or that make me focus on what I want rather than what God wants. Um, I just need to be filled more and more with His love so that I persevere. I want what God wants. And I don't, uh, I don't give in to my selfish am, am, ambitions. And uh, it's kind of a mindset that even as a, as a disciple, as a Christian who's been saved by the grace of Jesus, I, I am determined to keep loving him and not, not allow my flesh to direct my attention just toward myself. Now, that's a constant battle. Paul talks about it time and time again, especially in Romans. But I just want to remind you, because it spoke to me, guard against my fleshly ambitions and just focus on hang in there, stay with it, keep loving Jesus, and uh, uh, I'll be rewarded. And I want you to stick in there and not give in to your fleshly, sinful, selfish ambitions as well. Just keep loving Jesus, stay with it, don't ever quit. Hey, God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.